let's decode chain of responsibility pattern a behavioral design pattern with a simple example imagine this you call customer support your issue goes to level 1 if they can't fix it it moves to level 2 it's still stuck level 3 steps in well that's exactly how this pattern works it creates a chain where request flow is step by step so here we go First, we have a handler. You can think of it like level one support. So it checks if it can handle your request. If not, then there is the next handler, which means your uh, request is going to pass to the next level. Okay, so the users, well, we get flexible handling, which means your request does not need to know who will handle it, right? Also, we get dynamic chains, means you can change the setup while it's running. And we get loose coupling because the sender doesn't care who will process the request. Well, in the real world, we use this for things like logging systems where messages flow through different loggers or permission checks, right? Where access get validated at different levels. So if you want to dive deeper, check out the article in the caption.